Hey, thanks for joining me here again. I'm Zach and I make things for Ableton Live. Yesterday, I added a feature to Nobbler 4 that I'm really excited to show today. If you don't know about it, Nobbler 4 turns your iPad into what I think is the best parameter control surface for Ableton Live. I'll put a link to a deep dive video right here or here or something. In short, Nobbler 4 gives you two pages of 16 auto labeled auto-colored sliders to control and automate your live set's most important parameters, as well as a page dedicated to letting you interact with the parameters in the currently selected device. The whole point of Nobbler is to get you more engaged with parameters in your live set's instruments, effects, and mixer. Trying to perform a computer with a mouse is like trying to play a saxophone with a chopstick. Maybe it can be done, but it's not gonna be fun. Nobbler lets you use all of your fingers to modify and automate parameters in real time, just as baby God intended. Uh, so, okay, so what's the big news for today? Well, what I did is I added these buttons across the top of the blue hand page. And what they're for is to give you instant access to the eight most important devices in your live set. This little idea has unlocked a new world of flow and efficiency for me in my music making. To be able to use this one surface to navigate your most important devices and parameters helps keep you in the moment and more in your artist brain and less in your computer brain. And reducing the friction required to make small adjustments will help you achieve producing the music you actually want to produce. So let's take a look at these new buttons. When you load Nobbler, and switch to the blue hand tab, those buttons are unassigned at the top. And in true Nobbler fashion, all you have to do is touch one of those buttons when you wanna map it to something. So let's see. So uh, I'll pick our kick drum track. I've got this device ZS Kick 2, and uh, all I need to do is touch this button here, and now that button will bring us back to this device. And so let's map a couple others just so that we can see what's going on. Uh, another important device might be this compressor on the sidechain group. And so let's just put that on the second button. Uh, I've got this long kick instrument. Uh, we can select that, put it on number three. We've got a bass rack here, and we can put that on number four. And so now, uh, I, anytime I wanna get back to my kicks, I'm there. Anytime I need to get to the compressor and all of its settings, threshold, ratio, you name it, it's here, uh, long kick, uh, bass instrument rack and oh maybe I want to rename this to bass rack uh, just so that the label is uh, sensible for me. We'll do a couple more. How about uh, this one? That's a fun one. That's a chiastic slide device. That's something that I created. It's a multi-channel crossfader um, and so anytime we want to access the parameters of that uh, we can just tap that button and um, adjust, you know, maybe how it is, uh, how it's working here um, with some of its interesting parameters that help you sculpt your sound. Also in true Nobbler form, uh, we've tracked, we track the color of things. And so for instance, we've got our green sidechain compressor device here. Uh, it's because that track is green. If I change that track to be bright red, um, it immediately updates not only in the blue hand section, but also that button that was mapped to uh, this device in this channel that's now red. And so if you change your mind and decide you want to uh, not use one of these buttons for a given device, all you have to do is long press on it. So we'll just, let's say, long press on this base rack in, uh, device. And anything longer than one and a half seconds will, uh, will erase it. And so then we are free now to map a different device onto that button and we can then flip through all of our interesting devices and all of their parameters. Plus we've got the power of Nobbler here, surfacing the very most important parameters for all devices across our entire live set, times two pages. So if you wanna have a try, then just download the latest V4 release of Nobbler 4, which includes this new feature. Make sure to update the Touch OSC layout on your iPad while you're at it. Uh, full installation and usage instructions are in the video that I'll link here and also in the description to help get you started. So, happy noblin! Let me know how it works for you. Bye!